Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show how you can use the picture-in-picture -picture effects for Final Cut Pro. You can use it as a title or as an effect. So, after installing the plugin, go to the Titles tab and here you can find the, the plugin with all its elements. I'll show how some of them work. Also, I added the text as a bonus and the background overlay. So let me show. First the titles version, but you can also use the effects version. Click and drag. You can change the duration of the effect. Go to the inspector and here you can add media, change the design of the element and you can enable or disable the drop shadow effect. Also, you can reposition the element, resize it like that, command Z. You have the same controls here and here. Let's add media, click, go to the browser and click where you want the clip to begin. Then, then click apply okay let's change the color let's say I want this color with roundness if you want to add clip to the drop zone from the timeline the best way is to add the clip to a compound clip new compound clip enter select click and then click on the compound clip. Let me disable it because if you don't do that maybe you can get a freeze frame. Now let's come back and let me show how you can use the effects version. I'll enable this video and go to the effects tab and just click and drag or command Z select the clip double click on it. Also, you can disable the built-in and out animation or enable them. After you add the media to the, to the effect, adjust the scale and position if you need to. Here you have the same parameters as before. Now let me show how you can create this effect using another the 46 version first of all let, let me delete the effects command shift x remove click and drag let me adjust the content okay that's good in animation i can change it to widescreen square and classic tv I'll start with widescreen, copy the effect, command C, select, command shift V. I want just the picture in picture effect. And then I can change the aspect ratio to square. Select the other one and change it to vertical. Let's play. Okay. Now let me show how you can use photo. I'll add the photo to the timeline, change its duration, go to the inspector and I want to select the special conform as fill and then reposition it, right click, new compound clip. Now I can use the effect number 20. 20, click and drag, reposition. I want to reposition only on the X value, X position, so it's better to use the inspector. I think it's good here. Let's play. Okay, I can change the position. Now, let's say that you make tutorials and you want to have a circle mask 
and your face on the right left corner of the screen and use this all the time in your projects select the clip you want to use click and drag the effect to it and then reposition the content like this let's say you want a, a thinner smaller screen and put here on the side like this if you want you can disable the drop shadow also you can disable the outline if you want and then you have your effect very quickly also you can disable the in and out animation to have it pop up on the screen and if you want to use this as a preset to use in all your tutorials or projects come here save effects preset and then you can call it whatever you want let's say circle mask tutorial and select the category let's say personal or something anything you want hit save then let's say you are in another project editing another project and then you can come here to the personal effects click and drag and you have very quickly the same effect add on another project see how you can use the background overlay effect so let me add this one change the content click on the title change its duration let's see let's say I don't want the out animation and here you can add a fade in fade out or remove the animation you can change the color change its opacity let me disable the color you can colorize change the strength I don't want that I want just a blur effect more subtle like this noise I can remove disable then I could come to the effect and move move up a little bit click and drag on the title and customize it put above and reposition and say teaching lesson change the font the size the color and I want the title to to enter the screen faster in in duration I can speed up speed up the animation of the title and move it with dot the dot key and comma key dot if you want you can add drop shadow let's see the result so that's how you can use the picture in picture effects for Final Cut Pro I hope you like it if you have any question please let me know and leave a comment below thank you